I bet when you're thinking of Iwate, you're not thinking of these gorgeous beaches, hand-carved caves, 200 meter cliffs, but it's all here on the San Rico coast. Hi, this is Quinlan, and today I am just barely off the Michinoku Coastal Trail in Iwate Prefecture. Now, a lot of people are excited about the new thousand kilometer trail that spans all the way from Hachinohe in Aomori all the way down to Fukushima. And it runs all the way across Iwate. Some of the best parts of the trail are here in Tanohata Mura, sort of the northeastern part of Iwate. In my opinion, one of the most beautiful places in this entire prefecture is just barely missing from the trail. And that is these private beaches and hidden hand-carved tunnels just down the slope from the Unosa Cliffs. This is the beginning place of what I consider the hidden Unosa Cliffs Trail. The Michinoku Coastal Trail just barely touches on this location before it goes back up into the mountains around there. But if you continue to walk this way, you'll find a series of hand-carved tunnels. In Japanese, there's a word, anaba. Now an anaba in Japanese implies a wonderful or great place that's somehow not appreciated or not well known. And this is the definition of that. In fact, I've already made two other videos here on my channel, and so I'm sorry for taking you back to this place again and again, even though there's so many other places, but maybe I'm obsessed. I love this place so much, I can't help but um, want to show it to people again and again because every time I come here, it's empty. There's nobody here. The entire reason I started making YouTube videos was to share places like this that are so beautiful and yet so underappreciated, so unknown, even by local Japanese people. The problem with this place is that it takes two and a half hours by car to get here from Morioka. It's not really near anywhere in particular. And if you're a through hiker on the Michinoku Postal Trail, you're gonna zip right by it and not even notice what you missed. If you're hiking the Michinoku Coastal Trail, or in fact, if you're interested in hiking just a tiny bit of it, I really recommend what goes from South Fudai through Tanohata Village. This is the glorious part. It's not for the faint of heart. The trail goes up and down these cliffs through steep sets of stairways. There's bears, there's uh, Japanese sero and deer along here, but the rewards are so great. What I want is that you don't miss these secret cliffs. How you find this place is if you're going from north to south and right before the Unosa Cliffs observation deck, before you climb up the slope, or if you're going south to north, then right after the Unosa Dai Cliff observation deck, when you go down the slope, the trail will veer up the valley and into the mountains, but instead walk along these, this gravelly beach and you'll see a tunnel. The first tunnel has a little concrete framing, the other ones don't have any and are all hand carved. You'll go through a series of four different tunnels, each with secret beaches, depending on the season, little waterfalls coming down the cliffs. Some of the parts of the beach are a perfect fine sand, others are very rocky, others with small pebbles. And just spend a few hours, relax, wade into the ocean, skip stones, have a picnic. This whole area is just too beautiful not to be appreciated, and I hope some of you have a chance to do that.
after tourism is set up and you want me to guide you along here through some parts of the trail, including this spot, then hit me up through Instagram or email uh, through the YouTube channel. I am in the process of building a website, not done yet, but I am a local guide and I am doing work both independently and through a number of local travel agencies. And so I'm available to take you around places and uh, not only to show it to you on video, but also show it to you in person. So this video, I just want to show you some eye candy. I just want to show you how beautiful this area of the San Riku coast looks. And so sit back and enjoy the views. Honestly, a lot of the Michinoku Coastal Trail isn't for the faint of heart. It's really hard walking. Sometimes you've got to climb up these little cast iron ladders. You've got to hop from stones. There's a lot of scrambling. It's a pretty adventurous, exciting trail. And um, I've never done any of them in the States. I have no idea what the Appalachian Trail or anything like is like. But the problem with the Michinoku Coastal Trail is that it's a thousand kilometers long and for a lot of those, you're just walking on country roads. So I think, except for maybe the most dedicated people, it makes more sense, instead of just walking the entire thousand kilometers, to pinpoint a few parts, do some fun climbing, some fun adventures, do a few one, do three days here, and don't worry about completing the whole thing. Unless, of course, you're an obsessive completionist, in which case, go nuts. I admire you. I couldn't help myself. I just had to show you this place again because I love it so much. And there's nothing like standing knee deep in the waves, looking at 200 meter cliffs, feeling the water rush over your toes. It's just perfect. I've been doing a lot of stories on Instagram, showing little bits that I don't show in videos. And so if you're on Instagram, follow me, I'm Quinlan. On Twitter, I'm GoNorthJ. 
If you really like the drone footage in this video, then please consider supporting me on Patreon. I put out monthly, sometimes more, uh, exclusive drone videos on Patreon, as well as sometimes explore ruins, Japanese haikyo. So, if uh, you want to support my YouTube channel and you like the drone footage and or ruins, yeah, consider supporting me on Patreon. There's a link in the description as well as on the uh, YouTube channel there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.